the, the commissioning intentions have got kind of major gaps in them. It doesn't really mention learning disabilities at all, and when it does, it does only in terms of people with psychosis. We believe like they do in integrated care. However, with integrated care, it doesn't mean you treat everybody the same. Basically, um, they don't understand about learning disabilities because they have different needs and they need more time to um, respond to their questions and you know have more time uh, to have a conversation with their doctor. There's no work a kind of about keeping people healthy and why people with learning disabilities experience bad health and their experience. In, in the health in, in health services, and until that work's done, we're not actually going to improve the population of the health, and it makes the plan unsustainable. Self care is another area that we strongly believe in, and one of the best ways of empowering people is that they learn to take care of themselves. However, again, just saying it doesn't mean it's going to happen. You have to support people to change their mindset, to change the culture to support them in understanding what that actually means. Learning disabilities need more support on their self-care, to know how to look after themselves, um, how to take that medication. Uh, there's also kind of a shortage of any kind of preventative therapies and talking therapies. Uh, and the intentions all appear to be about acute services, and that's a huge gap in, in, in the intentions. There doesn't appear to be any understanding about the underlying causes for people. Underlying causes means you have to change lifestyles and we need to support people through those changes. So again, for me, those are the intentions. We need to make those things much, much clearer. I agree with the intentions in broad terms, but we're here, use us. We're happy to work with you to achieve some of these ambitions.